Martin Capri. Float fish to perch tail in the, uh, in the silt. Cr crushed head, actually. Crushed head? Uh, head, head uh, I've got the head and uh, cut vertically down the middle, so it's like head and gut. Okay, so all its juices are flowing, uh, is that the idea? Yeah. We've had a slight crisis in that all the worms have died because it's been such a hot day, I've had a lot of worms. Really not looking very lively at all. We'll inflate these in with a, a needle, try and get a bit of air in them, pop them up. I've got a running lead, two ounces, an American fishing wire, and that's a stem of pole float held on with float rubbers to a size eight barbless hook. And the idea of that is that the eel won't want to eat that bit, but it will want to eat this bit. Yeah, it's staying nice and buoyant. Right, so I've got an open bail arm and a monkey climber um, holding that line down. Ah, Will's got a fish on. It's a bit hooked, which is good. He's old. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be worms. Hello, brother. Target species. Target species. It is like species, yeah. Curious, big bait. Do you reckon we'll catch something decent tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Will is in. It's a good fish, apparently. That's not as big as you thought it was, then. No. Still a nice fish. So Charlie has had a, a bl blank night, and now he has got what looks like a very nice side deal indeed. It's well done, Charlie. Oh, yeah. It's got a huge a fish eating head. Predator head. That is I'm not sure he's going to awesome. behave for me. Let's put him down a minute. We can just turn him upside down and stroke him, caress it. Actually, it's, 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 it's three. I, I was. I was three. Three pound. Look at that head, though. That, that, head, that head is wicked. That is awesome. Well done, Charlie. That's a wicked eel. Well, that's utterly bizarre. I didn't get a run all night, and then this morning I got uh, a run at five thirty in the morning. Um, I mean. The theory is, is that if there's no pike in the water, then eels will feed happily during the day. Uh, so maybe there's an element of truth in that. Or maybe I just slept the whole night with no bait on the hook after getting a pluck that didn't sound on the bite alarm because there was no bait when I wound it in. I'm not very good at night fishing, so that's probably the end of the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.